<clears throat> I would start by changing our whole system of revenue to a fair tax. Our system, our income tax system, is corrupt. The Congress raids the income tax surplus and has been spending it on day-to-day -day operations. We need something a little more fundamental than that. You judge a civilization by how they take care of their elderly, how they take care of their youth, and how they take care of their veterans. And the United States of America fails on all three counts. Shame on us. We can do better. But when we're controlled by the military-industrial complex that controls our government, lock, stock, and barrel, you get what you're getting right now, which is horrific. Follow the money if you want to see which way the government's going to go in the future. I'm accused of having not much money. My God, this is a, I wear this as a badge of courage that I haven't sold out and don't intend to sell out. People contribute to my campaign. I don't have time to go through the list and see who it is. Other people may do that. But I, they'll, you're only going to get one thing by contributing to my campaign. Good government. Honest government. With integrity. And we're going to turn this country around. I'll be one of the great presidents of the United States. And I won't be owned by Wall Street or the military industrial complex or the medical industrial complex or the war industrial complex. And of course, I'm talking about the war on drugs, which is, which is a tragedy. It's the scourge of our inner cities. And everybody knows it's a failure, but nobody's providing the leadership to end it. We had FDR who ended prohibition. Well, I'm going to end the war on drugs. I become president of the United States. Count on that. <laughs>